welcome to another fucking fantastic, exciting edition of Hillbilly D Reviews. USA. USA. Today we're going to review a movie called Point of No Return. It's actually a USA remake of some French bullshit. There was this movie that came out about 1988 called La Femme Nikita. It was made in France by Luc Besson. Well, some American motherfuckers thought it was good. John Batham, his old ass, he thought it was good. He wanted to make it called Point of No Return. So we have this movie right here. Bridget Fonda, she plays the main character right there. And, and, and uh, you know, she is uh, she is skinny as hell. It, it's, she it's uh, young she looks like a little choir boy. Like it does. She, I'll give I'll, I'll give you a spoiler. There's a there's a topless scene, and you you might like worry about whether you should get a boner or not because you might think, oh, this girl's 14. I can get Some arrested for this. Yeah, yeah it makes this trial porn. No, she, she, she's just flat as. Fuck. Now no, that no. we established your bus size, let's talk about the plot of the movie. Guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry about that. All right, movie starts out a bunch of junkies trying to bust into the store to get some fucking goddamn crack and hair on money. They bust in. Bridget Fonda's one of them. Oh, 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 oh what's his face? Uh, Michael Rockenport is one of them, ain't he? Yeah, he's a greasy Damn. motherfucker. He's, he's in for like five it. seconds before his story so took off. They break into this store. It turns out the motherfucker that, that operates it sleeps upstairs. He comes down and they kill this motherfucker. Now, Brid <coughs> Bridget Fonda ain't the one who kills him, but she's in there, so she's accomplice to murder and all that shit. Actually, actually, uh, if you remember correctly, go, uh, some uh, innocent cop comes in and she's like, you're under arrest. And this fucking drugged out bitch has a gun. She shoots the fucking cop in the fucking chest. Oh, she does. You remember that? Because she's so high on a goddamn she heroin. Kills a, she, she, she doesn't even know it's a way. cop. She doesn't even know it's reality. She's like, you're getting the death chair, bitch. Which is kind of crazy about why this is a good movie. Because you're rooting for her the whole movie. And you forget that she took away a man and his family. You know, yeah. she, she destroyed this man's life. Besides, he's a cop, though. He ain't a real person. Fuck him. Okay, so, she's ready to go to the death chair. They're going to kill this bitch. And what ends up happening, Gabriel Byrne from Usual Suspects, he comes on. Gabriel like, Byrne from Miller's Crossing. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I think I can do something with this bitch. He's Irish so, as hell. He's Irish as hell. He takes Love. him, he takes him into a government secret program where she gets a new identity. They train her, and this bitch is all rebellious. She's like throwing plates against the wall. She's like, I don't want to be here, fuck you. I mean, I mean, she could have been rotting away in a death row, and then they save her, and she's still an unapologetic Man, bitch. Man, there was one scene I remember, I don't know, I know this is a spoiler or not, but she like tries to kill her herself in the jail but, yeah because she can't stand it anymore but it's gabriel burns gun and like he's like rule number one never load the first chamber so she goes <laughs> click oh shit i'm still and then alive he just punches that bam in the face he bam. Does. he punches her heart they give her a nice fucking room too i, I mean it's not like prison. why is she desecrated yeah she knows it, it's a nice fucking bed a yeah. little tv at the time she got some uh some fucking cities and shit yeah and she's like she's stuck dude she's got to learn how to be an assassin this bitch is so stupid and so cracked out, she done spray paint everything. She even spray paints the fucking screen on the TV. And then dumb bitch is laying there in bed trying to watch the TV all spray paint. You can't see shit, bitch, because you spray painted. Right. They kick her up the ass enough times to get her fucking turned out. She starts killing these motherfuckers. Yeah, they give her assignment one by one. Like, hey, right, first assignment, you do this bullshit. Okay, Kill she this motherfucker. And blow this motherfucker. Yeah. Whatever. Shoot him in the face, blow the shit up. So she gets that shit down. And everything's going good. And Gabriel Byrne is like supposed to be like her trainer, her handler, whatever. He starts following up. He starts following up. He's like this bitch. But meanwhile, they let this bitch out of the dorm room. She got to go find a fucking apartment in Venice. Venice, Venice, California. Venice Beach, California. She runs to the shitty apartment. They give her some money. She doesn't want to know because she says a cracked out heroin bitch. She goes to the fucking grocery store and buys like 5,000 cans of fucking it's cans. Hilarious. Ravioli. Ravioli, yeah. And then yeah. This, yeah. this greasy <laughs> motherfucker, Dermot Moroni. Dermot Moroni from Young Guns, dude. Yeah, from Young Damn. Guns. He played greasy oh, motherfucking no. career opportunities. He's, yeah. like, he's like, bitch, why are you buying so much ravioli? Let me come over your place and fuck you. So she comes over, she cooks the can really well. And and that's, they, what, that's what happens. Yeah. And then they fall in love. But meanwhile, Gabriel Burns on the outside falling in love. Too. He still loves her. And he's like, yeah. I'm torn. It's my bitch who kills people. And she's fucking I trained her. I saved her. And then this little skinny artsy her. motherfucker yeah, yeah. on Venice, he's fucking her. What, yeah. what the fuck? And she does the hit job. She kills motherfuckers. And then she gets the one where she fucks up. And what happens when she fucks up? They oh. got to call in the cleaner, motherfuckers. The cleaner, man. This is fucking. Harvey Cartel, this is Quentin Tarantino's uh, impetus for the wolf from Pulp yeah. Fiction. Harvey Cartel is a fucking, he's a dirty down actor, man. He'll fucking give you everything he got. Yeah, man. He'll, he'll show up in fucking Bad Lieutenant, show his dick and everything. <laughs> yeah, he will. But in this movie, this motherfucker's acting like a robot guy. <laughs> you think he was lazy? Uh, not right, that he was lazy, first, but like. First scene, who are you? Vincent, I'm, I'm the, the cleaner. cleaner. Uh, <laughs> and uh, clean. you got, I mean, it's hard to tell. He got some goddamn nerd glasses on and shit. Nah, He's like, yeah. like a robot. 
I so, know, maybe he was just like a hardened killer. I don't know, man. But. Uh, motherfucker, he, I think he thought he was a T-800. And Gabriel Burns like, the bitch fucked up. He called in the cleaner. What's going to happen now? And Miguel Ferrari's sitting there with his little spiky fucking hair, and he's like, He's, he's like, well, they're going to finish the job, and the cleaner's going to fucking blah, 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 blah. And then, at the end, he's going to clean her, too. And then Gabriel Burns like, fuck, I trained this bitch, I fell in love with this bitch, and now they're just going to kill her like a fucking piece of garbage. Yeah. So many layers, like, no one has the upper hand. Like, you think Nobody Gabriel, knows Gabriel going Burr on. ain't in charge, Miguel Ferrari ain't in charge. Nobody's in charge of this shit, yeah, it's man. so crazy. It's chaotic as fuck, man. Crazy as fuck. It's, but it's so original, it's so good. There's one scene where they're in the hotel, and the bitch done out, jump out, and fucking in a uh, laundry right, shoot. Scene. Laundry oh, shoot. no, no. Yeah, okay, no, shoot me. Yeah, laundry, laundry and shoot. the bathroom, too, but oh, the laundry shoot, yeah. they done ripped that fucking scene off so much. Even, okay, Luke Besson made the French version, and some old dude named John Banner made this version, but, oh, then, but then Luke Besson went back on fucking Kiss of the Dragon with Jet Li, ripped his own shit off from the Finn Nikita and remade that bullshit. Yeah, again. but at least he didn't just show that shit in CGI, and he filmed it again. Movie was awesome. It set the precedence for many action movies. I gotta give it an eight. Yeah, out of ten. you kind of. Yeah, yeah, you kind of gotta cross your fingers on yeah, this motherfucking as a movie. You just give it eight out of ten because it's unbelievable, right? A little bit, yeah. I mean, like the skinny broad is all of a sudden like Batman. I, I can't, I can't see that. But that's the only complaint, man. I like the whole thing, but be, also because it's a remake, I want to bump it down another point too because it's a remake. Seven? Yeah, they didn't come mm -hmm. out with this shit. I want to give it a seven out of ten as a movie right here. Only reason I gave it an eight because I didn't see the original because I'm a dumb fuck. But uh... yeah, but I saw it, so that's why I took this shit down. This being a Blu-ray and all, it's going to be some really good quality compared yeah, to a DVD. Yeah. But the thing is, is like this is some 1993 bullshit. Like it is high def. They did do a good job, but. You know, it's not like Avatar, it's not like CGI bullshit popping on the screen. It's just yeah, like man. some old film bullshit. On Blu-ray, older movies, they don't they don't try as hard. They try, but they don't try as hard. So I'm gonna give it a picture of sound, seven out of ten. Damn, I was gonna give it a six. Okay, you give it a six out of ten. Cause it is some grainy shit, but that's okay. Special features, we got a big old whopping fucking theatrical nah, trailer. Nah, nah, Fuck nah. that. Fuck that theatrical trailer bullshit. There's nothing. I, I, I like the trailer, man. I like trailers. Yeah, but at the end of the day, a trailer. Yeah, but that's all it that's is. like the bare minimum. So, such so features, I'm going to give this motherfucker a 1 out of 10. I was going to give it a 1, too. I just didn't want you to give it a 0. No, I wasn't going to give it a 0. <laughs> means nothing. They, they, said, they, had a, they had a trailer. They had something, motherfucker. So, that's it. That's point of return. It's worth getting if you get it for $7.99 the way the goat did. You know, I wouldn't be paying $15.99 for this motherfucker. But you get it for a good deal. It's a worth movie worth owning, action, all this bullshit. So check it out, motherfuckers.